know how important it is to teach kids about online dangers, but technology can also be a powerful tool for families. So this week we're sharing high-tech solutions that help in all aspects of family life. Today, specific ways technology can help parents and grandparents form a closer connection with kids. Sarah Kimmel with Family Tech Zone is here to help. I can't think of a better person to talk about this topic with because you're so passionate about using technology for the good. That is so true. Um, I think that technology gets a bad rap and it can be like isolating is what people think that technology mm -hmm, is doing mm -hmm. but really I think it kind of augments your life and can really help improve relationships and take it to the next level. I think the burden of that though truly I don't mean to call out a generation but I think the burden of that is on us as parents and grandparents because kids are already in it. Kids yep. are already using it. We know that. Right. So if we can get engaged with them, then it can be that connective point. Yes, exactly. All right, so there's my speech. There's your speech. High five. Yeah. <laughs> now that we're off our soapbox, let's get into some apps. <laughs> this first app that you say can help parents and kids communicate and develop a closer bond is called Marco Polo. Explain this. So Marco Polo is like a video walkie-talkie is kind of how it's... Um, promoted okay and what I really love about Marco Polo is it's like a text message but it's so much more because you can add you know there's filters and fun things like snapchat but I never understood snapchat I'm maybe just too old to have gotten that whole I'm still trying to figure thing. it out yeah but with Marco Polo I can you can you save all of the Marco Polos so we I have a group of six friends that we Marco Polo pretty much all day <laughs> And we talk about our lives and our kids driving us crazy and things like that and the donuts that we're eating for breakfast, <laughs> you know, and it's really helped us to stay connected. And you can do that with your kids. So my daughter will get to school and she'll Marco Polo me, I made it to school. And it's just kind of a fun, more interactive way than just texting. So is there a way to not use your data up through this app? Um, well, yeah, so you can use it on Wi-Fi, but okay. if um, if your child doesn't have a data plan, then there's really affordable options, and there's a local Utah company called Airtime Labs that is selling data plans for kids, and you can have your old cell phone that is gathering dust, you know, you've upgraded, right. and you can put service on your old cell phone through this company for like five bucks a month oh. and have your kid with service so when they do get to school they can Marco Polo you and say hey made it to school and you can Marco Polo them back I love you so much you know <laughs> they'll totally love to get that right? they'll love to open that video in front of all their friends <laughs> yeah so and then they also um, this airtime company also has GPS watches that are kind of all the rage right now and you used to only really be able to get it through one specific phone carrier but uh, through this uh, local Utah company, you can get these GPS watches and have service, again, for about five bucks a month. Airtime Labs. Airtime Labs. Nice, and the app is Marco Polo. Very good. Yes. What about apps that allow parents to play with their kids? Kind of have the fun factor. Right, so, you know, again, video games, bad rap. You know, the kid just, you know, wasting the whole day on one. video games. Yeah, mm -hmm. but with, if you play together as a family, it can really have some bonding experiences. So, my family loves to play Drawful. And I think, and I've brought Drawful on Studio Five. Remind in the past. me, remind me. So you each have your phone, and you draw, like you get something that you're supposed to draw, and it comes up, and everybody has to guess what you yeah, drew, yeah. and it's kind of like Pictionary. Yeah, but we, we did play this, Sarah Kimmel, and we I did. distinctly oh, remember being really I'm bad sorry, at this game, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun. Right, and so and my kids beg to play Drawful constantly. Okay, all right. Um, Mario Party also made your fun list. Yes, Mario Party is a really fun game because it's like a board game, but it's interactive on the screen. And so when you have all of the pieces and they're moving to their spot and then you have these mini games that you play together and you're trying to blow up a balloon against your other um, you know, family members, it's just a really fun interactive game. And using characters a lot of kids already know and love. Right. Autobahn Birds of North America? Well, now we're getting into exploration. So oh. we played with our kids, we communicate with okay, our kids, okay. and we explore with our okay, kids. Okay, thank you. I was like, yeah. help me transition here, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm talking about just four different areas that you can really use to bond with your kids. So this one's an exploration. So when you go for a walk with your kids and, you know, moms do know everything. Of course. But, you know, the kids, what's that? What's that? What's that? You're like, I have no idea what you're talking <laughs> about. And so using an app like this, this, like Autobahn for um, bird exploration. So 
It'll tell you, you know, you can take a picture of the bird that you're seeing and it can help you identify what that bird is. Very cool. Yeah, and so you can, and you can also keep a log of like what birds you've seen. So if you get really into like trying to see as many birds and as many different birds as you can, uh -huh. you can keep track of it within the app and things like that. We know geocaching is huge. Is there one app in particular you recommend or you use? There's actually an official geocaching app. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so, and that one is really great and you don't have to, you know, all of our phones have GPS in it. And so in the past, you'd have to have like a specific GPS device to find these geocaches. Now you can just download the app and find geocaches with your family. It's like a treasure hunt, you know, you just go throughout your whole neighborhood, finding these different little treasures and, you know, leaving behind a treasure for somebody else. It's I really know fun. Sam Penrod, my colleague and friend over at KSL News, did this. I don't know if he still does, but he did this with his son, Jeff Jefferson. And the stories they would describe, the adventure stories of, you know, getting up on a Saturday morning and going out to find these hidden treasures, so fun. It is so fun. So memory making. Yeah. All right, finally, technology to learn together. You love the leapfrog reading system. I love leapfrog in general. Like, my son was about three when he was reading chapter books, practically. And I attribute none to wow. myself, all to leapfrog. Wow. Because um, they've got really great products. And I used to kind of get on their case about these reading systems because I'm like, I want to read with my kids. I don't want this, you know, pen to be reading to them. Right. But there's a lot of interaction, interactive functions within the reading systems that you can be together and you know use these interactive functions and really increase their learning and help you bond with your kids through learning. So if you make it an activity, if you insert yourself into that system, that leapfrog technology, yes. there's the bond. Yes, for sure. There's the connection. Yeah. And then I also for learning, I also love YouTube videos. Mm. And if you there's so many like science experiment YouTube videos you can watch together and then okay, let's try and do that. Um, so there's a lot of things you can learn through YouTube that you can use to bond with your kids as well. I don't know if this counts as learning, but it definitely was bonding to look up Charlie the dog this weekend <laughs> on YouTube. There's this little golden lab named Charlie and they've made all these videos about him. Emmy was enthralled. And we had so many giggles shared right. together just watching this, you know, stranger dog on YouTube. Exactly. So there it is. The, yep. It can bring us closer if we use it the right ways. Yes. You're constantly sharing ideas like this and suggestions Correct. for parents to use technology to do just this, draw closer connections. Where can we get more from you? FamilyTechZone.com. FamilyTechZone.com. Thank you so much, Sarah. We appreciate it.